Welcome to Pins and Things. Today we're going to be making this homemade, delicious banana cream pie. What you're going to need is one nine inch pie crust already baked, three cups of whole milk, three fourths cup of white sugar, one third cup all purpose flour, one fourth teaspoon of salt, three egg yolks, two tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of vanilla, and three bananas. So the first thing I'm going to do is scald the milk. So in another bowl, while that's warming up, we are going to add 3 fourths cup of sugar, 1 third cup of flour, all right, 1 fourth teaspoon of salt. I'm just mixing the dry ingredients together while I'm waiting for the milk to get heated up. All right, the milk is scalding, so I'm gonna go ahead and add all the dry ingredients and mix it all together. I'm slowly mixing the dry ingredients into the milk. So I'm just not stopping mixing it until it's thick. All right, I think it's pretty thick now. It's gotten a lot thicker. I'm gonna put a cover on it and have it cook for two more minutes and I will just stir occasionally. I'm just getting the eggs separated, the white separated from the yolk. I'm getting those ready to go. Sweet, now I can have an egg white omelet when I'm all done. So I'm gonna just break these up, mix them together a little bit. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of the pudding mix and put it in here and mix it together. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna put this in with the pudding. And I'm just keeping this on a medium heat. I'm pouring the yolks in. And I'm just gonna cook this for one minute longer, stirring it. At this point, I am just removing it from the heat. I'm gonna add in the butter and vanilla and then it's gonna sit until it's lukewarm. Just mix that together. So to finish it off, it's just lukewarm right now, I'm gonna slice up these bananas. I'm gonna put them on the bottom of the pie crust. And because these are kind of small bananas, I think I'm gonna add in the last one. All right, I'm just gonna arrange them all pretty like. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Now I'm just gonna pour the pudding over the top. I call it pudding even though it's filling. Pour the filling. It smells good. You know what it smells like? It smells like my childhood. It really does. It smells like something my mom used to make. Ooh, that means it, I know it's gonna be good. <laughs> All right, I'm just covering the top making sure it goes in the right places and it looks pretty. And then we'll add some whipped cream and we will be done. And actually, I really like to cut up some bananas and slices and kind of cover the top too, because it tastes good and it looks good. It's cute. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge for now, let it cool off and thicken even a little bit more than it is. It looks so good, doesn't it? I cannot wait to crack this thing open. <laughs> it's so good and it smells so good. Make sure to subscribe if you like this video. Video. Also, you can comment below and tell me if you're gonna try it out for any holiday, really, but Thanksgiving is coming up, so you better try it, because it's good. If you click over here, you can see my latest video for Thanksgiving, or we also have a link in the description below for our Thanksgiving playlist, which has pretty much any recipe you're gonna need for Thanksgiving. If you click over here, you can watch The Beach House, which is my daily videos of my life. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. All right, we'll see you guys next time.